All right, guys, so this is the padlock I found. So we're just gonna try to clean it out a little bit on camera, dust it off a little, see what, what we can find off of it. That is really neat. Hello, YouTubers. This is John coming back from our tiny cabin project. And as you can probably see, we're doing some more metal detecting today. Uh, so I'm just walking through the park at Forest Park in St. Louis to find the best spots to dig up some treasures because I am determined to get some stuff today. So let's go. All right, guys, I just found something really cool. <laughs> really cool. I'm gonna get it cleaned up, but if you can tell, it's a padlock. All right guys, so this is the padlock I found. So we're just gonna try to clean it out a little bit on camera, dust it off a little, see what, what we can find off of it. That is really neat. So, little history about this park. It's um, Forest Park in St. Louis. And Forest Park is where the World's Fair was. All right, so this is some writing on here. I can't really make it out, so let me clean this up a little bit and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I really, I think it says I-L-C-O, but I really can't make out the wording on this, but it's so cool. So we got it cleaned up. It looks like there's still something on the side of the thing. I don't know if that's a piece of uh, some kind of equipment or whatnot, but if you look really close, I'm not sure if you can see it. It kind of looks glittery. So maybe this lock had at one point been painted with some kind of glitter paint. It could be off of a ride from the World's Fair or something. I don't know. But that's probably one of my coolest finds yet. All right, guys. That's really neat. So we're going to dig up some more cool stuff today here in Forest Park. I think I found the spot. So stay tuned. I just found my first coin. Let's take a look. So it was pretty deep in the plug. It was ringing up at like between 87 and 93. Um, it's a 2000 something dime. Um, I can't really see it right now. So uh, long story short, I just went to the eye doctor to get glasses and they actually put dilation drops in my eyes. So I can't really see anything right now, but it is modern. Uh, it's a Roosevelt dime, but I'm pretty excited about it because after digging a lot of pennies and stuff, um, to get a dime as one of the first things I dug out of the ground is pretty cool. So that was an interesting plug, guys. Um, I double checked the hole that the dime came out of and we found a bent nail. All right, guys. So this was about four or five inches down. <laughs> Can anyone tell me what this is? Oh my god, guys, so I thought this was a silver coin because it was in gravel and it came out silver and perfectly round. If I can pick it up. Yeah, it's a pull tab. But it was filled with dirt in the middle and you can see like from that view it was perfectly round and had the silver color. Yeah, so Okay guys, so this is an interesting piece of trash that I found. Uh, it's actually in a perfect oval shape. It says... 
I don't know if you guys can read it. It says, dispose of properly. Well, my guess is this person did not dispose of this properly. But, it's still fun. It's interesting. I don't know what this would have come off of. Uh, like I said, it's an oval shape. It's not really bent out of shape. And it says, dispose of properly. So, that is a fun piece of trash. Alright, on to the next. So we had this one ringing up at an 89. Not sure what that'd be. But we're gonna pull off this plug, pop it out, and see if we got it out. Right in the middle of the plug. Let's try to live dig this thing. Do, do, do. Sorry, at the same time I'm doing this, I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Even though I am wearing D. Let's get to here and find out what's in here. Right there, right there. We have something. Right there. What is that? First one of those I found. Some kind of squeezy bottle of some sort. You can see the lid. Not sure what that is. We're gonna go put that in our pile. And as you can see, we've been in this one little spot all day. But so far in our pile, and I've only been out here for about an hour. Uh, so we got a lot of junk. We got a piece of a fence, some bent up metal. We got that really, really cool padlock that I found. I still haven't cleaned it up nice and pretty yet. And we got this object here. I uh, just got some cool glass that I found while digging. Uh, some more trash, bendy wire, nails. We've got 11 cents. And then we've got all these little pieces of iron metal that I think were all the piece of the same thing. So yeah, we've got a nifty little pile here. Uh, and we've only been out here about an hour, maybe two, I don't know, I lose track when I metal detect. All right. We're just gonna try to pop this little guy right back in real quick. Pop. Stomp him down. Be careful of my new shoes that I accidentally worn out here. All right. You can't even tell where it was. On to the... All right, guys. So I double dug this one, as you can see. I dug two plugs out because we had two signals. We had a signal. The first one was coming out in the 60s, and then that one was coming out higher in the 80s. The first one... Da -da 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 -da, pull tab. The second one... Oh my god! Another pull tab. Two holes, two pull tabs, on to the next. Alright guys, I got some kind of a thick, chunky piece of metal. Not really sure what it is. It's really thick, it's beat up, it looks like it's been hit by the uh, lawnmower. But... It's pretty solid, it's pretty thick, it's not very heavy though. So I'm not really sure what it is, but let's keep digging. So I don't know what this is, but it was ringing up as a solid 82. It did bounce a little 82 to 83, but whatever this is, it is strong, it's not bendy, and I'm certain that it's not silver or anything, so. I don't know. Okay, so I've definitely called it quits for the day. And I'm with my husband fishing now. Say hi. Hello. You having any luck today? Caught a few fishes. And now he's trying a piece of fruit, so we'll yeah, see how that works. Trying some of my trail mix to see if the fishies like my trail mix. And he's so cute, guys. 
Hi guys, so I am on day two of Meadow Deceptive Forest Park in St. Louis. Um, I decided to try a different area this time, so we are on a big, fat, open field. Um, there is a lot of sun, but they play ball, they play games out here, and there's picnic benches, as you can see. Uh, so we're going to dig around and poke around here a bit and see what we can find. Alright guys, so we found a penny. Uh, it's a modern penny, 1987. But I'm not sure it's the only thing in here because when I got this on a detector, I did see the 81 dinging up, but it was also dinging up some different numbers. Uh, so I'm going to rescan it just to make sure this is the only thing. Alright guys, so I think I found my first old coin. And when I say old, I mean since I started metal detecting, I have not found anything pre like 1975 yet, so I've really been hungry for some old coins. So I dug this. Now that's cleared off. It's a penny, but I can't get it clean enough to make out what it is. I'm not sure if like an old penny uh, would get that crusty being in the ground or not, um, but I'm going to try to get it cleaned up later when I get home. Uh, the sun's going to be going down very soon, so I'm going to dig around here a little bit more. Alright guys, so I haven't even looked at it yet, but I pulled out the plug, and that was on the side. Probably nicked it with the shovel. See if we can get a date on it. Don't want to rub it too much. I'm going to go dip it in the lake. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it's actually a penny, but it's completely chewed up. It's so chewed up, I can't even get a date on it. That's the front of it. And then... That's the back, but if you can see, it's modern. Oh my god guys, so I'm sorry about the image quality on this one, it is getting pretty dark out here. You really can't tell from this, it is really chewed up, but I think I've got a buffalo nickel. I think there's a buffalo on there. But you're not going to be able to tell with this image quality. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to clean a nickel, and if that's even possible, uh, drop it down in the comments and let me know. Alright, I'm going to try to get a couple more holes in before it's completely dark here. By the way guys, I got that nickel home yesterday and got it cleaned up. And it was absolutely a, bu a buffalo nickel, otherwise known as an Indian head nickel. They were made between 1912 and 1937, but this one was so chewed up I couldn't get a date off of it. But the Indian head is perfect, and you can make out the buffalo. Um, it's super exciting because it is the first, very first, old coin that I've found metal detecting ever. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm going to head back over to the little patch I was searching yesterday and see if we can find some other old coins. So I found a penny. It is from 1975. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check, but I think 1975 was actually copper. Though I could be wrong. But what I noticed is that the penny is in perfect condition. Most of the stuff that I've gotten out of this area I'm in has been really chewed up and since this is in perfect condition I think it's actually copper. So let's go on to the next. So I've got a coin in here. Not far down so it's probably modern. Go ahead and get that out.
Oh, wow. Okay. So it's looking like 1971. So I'm pretty sure that's another copper. 1971, I'll definitely take it. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I think it's just way too hot to be metal detecting today. I dug a few holes, but I feel like I'm going to pass out and I can't even make it, so. Um, I think that's going to wrap up our two and a half day uh, metal detecting spree. So I will get home, get some stuff cleaned up, and put this video together for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the few cool finds. I have a better idea of where in Forest Park to look as far as old coins go. Um, finally, I think I may have found a spot. Double take. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you haven't yet and you're a new viewer, go ahead and click the subscribe button above my finger up there. And if you have any free time, check out some of the other videos displaying on the bottom of the screen. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have an awesome evening.